All right, so this is where we stopped in our calculator we are building in Python. We are building a simple calculator. And we are actually going to continue to build on top of this calculator until we get it perfectly. And then we also go ahead to build a user interface on the web page for this calculator. But this is the basics, and we continue to improve on this. So right now, we are going to add two more features. We are going to add square root. And we are going to add race to power. So um, I'll also like to remind you to subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel. So to be able to add race to power and square root, we are going to use a module. I don't know if I've told you about the module before. We are going to use a module. And module is like a collection of code that has been written that you can use in your program simply by adding it to your program. So that model we are going to use is called maths. It's called maths. So to add a model to your program, to add a model to this program, I'm going to just say import maths because maths is the name of the model. It's always good to add the import statement at the very first line of the program. So I'm going to go to the first line and I'm going to say import maths. That's all. No, yeah. So at this point, I'm going to add two more operations. But before I do that, I'm going to just put comment that say what each operation is doing. So this is uh, perform addition. So to add a comment, just use uh, the hash key. This perform addition. Right. So two is perform subtraction three is what well, is perform uh, perform work three should be division if I'm not mistaken yeah uh, three should be multiplication perform multiplication and then number four is perform division in this way, your code is going to be readable. Okay, so now to add two more operations, I'm going to simply copy this L if, right? Of, uh, let's first add them to the menu. So let's say print, um, print five, and five is going to be, five is going to be square root. Okay, so six is going to be power, we can call exponentiation, but let's use a simple word, power, let's just say raise, raise to power, okay, good. So let me also annotate this, select an option from one to six, and that is fine. So it's easy for us to copy this one and then we copy this and then paste it. So I'm going to paste it. Permit me to just change the change this presentation mode so that it will be bigger. All right. So at this point, um, I'm going to paste this here, Control V, and I'm going to paste it again, Control V. All right. So if operation is five, we are going to perform square root, right? Good. So if operation is if operation is six, we are going to perform uh, raised to power. So one thing you need to know is that for you to perform a square root or uh, square root operation and also to perform raised to power you need to have only one number, right? So that is fine. So for perform square root, let's take out enter second number. Let's take out this, right? And just let's leave it as enter number. And for raised to power, we are going to also remove this num2. Let's take it out and just leave it as enter number. And at this point, uh, we are going to also remove num1 from here and just also remove num2. All right, so 
Um, and also, let's take out the let's take out the the operation here. So yeah, so I think so. Let's leave it. Sorry, yes. So we have the result is we've not written it. So let's do the same thing here. The result is and we've not written it. So that is fine. So for square roots, yes, say there is. Let me teach you something new. So the square root of. So the square root, the square root is okay. Let's leave this as the power is okay. So to get the square root of a number, you simply use the square the function sqrt. So we say plus sq sqrt, and then we put in the number num. Right. Good. So this is fine. So right, so um, and the same goes for power. P O W N U M, right? And this is fine. So if I run this, I think let's just right click and run and see what happens. Calculator is not allowed to run in parallel. Stop and run. Okay, so let's try to do five. Um, I'm entering in the wrong place. So let's try to do five. Enter number four, and it says error. So let's check. Square root is not defined, so sqrt is not defined. So let's try to do mats dot sqrt. Okay, so we simply need to use mats dot. Okay, and that is fine. So let's go back. Let's enter five, enter number six. So it tells us square root uh, type must be real and not string. Okay, so let's convert it to 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 real or to integer. So if you are having number is equal to impute enter number. So what is ever is whatever is entering is considered a string. So to con convert it to an int, just say int. This is a little bit different from what we did in the previous uh, lines. And the same I'm going to do here, int. And I'm going to also do this. So if I go back to Ronnie and I choose five, and I enter number five, it also gives us an error. The reason is it now says must be string, right? So um, let's try something new. So we have so let's put in dollar uh, percentage f. So at this point we are going to say also percentage symbol and then we are going to put brackets here and then we are going to put so have open 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 so we need one close close so let's see if it's going to work so i'm running it afresh so enter square root five enter number five and it says the square root of five is this right so let me explain what is happening here. So this is something you need to know. Uh, if you use this symbol, it's called a string format symbol. So this is format for float. Float is simply a decimal number. So square root of the square root is f. So the next thing you are going to specify after this is the number. So the number is mass.sqrt num, right? So is going to evaluate this and whatever return is the answer it places it in this place so what follows in this place gives you what is to be placed inside the string so let's do the same thing here so let's uh, say this number is uh, uh, percentage 
um, use percentage D and we have let's remove this simply use the same symbol and right so let's just close up this right good so if I go ahead to run it again I'm going to try for the power and I'm going to say I'm trying to perform six enter number I'm going to enter five hoping to get the the, 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 the result is 25 so now it's giving us an error power expects at least two arguments right so it's actually raised to power two raised to power two Okay, so let's let's change this to square a number, square a number. All right, so that is fine. So if I run it now and I go to six, I'm going to enter a number. Uh, let's say six. So the result is thirty six. So it's working. So I'm going to stop here, and in the next tutorial, we are we are going to see how we can enhance this uh, calculator. Maybe we can try to build a web interface and uh, run this calculator on the web interface. I'm going to, I would like to thank you for viewing and also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment if there is something you observe you would like me to explain uh, better for you. So.